Okay, today we're going to show you how to uh, change out a, a PS3 power supply. So this power supply is no longer good. And so we're just basically going to change that out. So what you're going to need is a new power supply, which is this is right here. And we're going to take the old one out. Uh, pretty much the tools that you will need is uh, one Phillips screwdriver. And really I like to keep a pair of needle nose pliers around, just in case a screw falls or something. But really all you need is a, needle, or a flathead screwdriver. Um, basically what we're going to do to start is, since this is the power supply, um, what I'm going to do, this, one, this particular PS3 has a memory card reader hooked up to the console. So basically what I'm going to do is there's two screws, one on each side. Then I'm going to re remove the memory card reader. As you see, there's two screws right here. And then there's a little cable on the front, which either you can take off or you can leave it on. For this purpose, I'm just going to slide it right off. And now you're left here, you're looking at, there's one, two, three screws over here, and there's a little wire plug. I don't know if you can really see it. There's a little wire that connects the PS3 and the power supply. And there's one, two, three screws over here. So basically we'll just unplug the power supply. And remove our three screws. Now, we're going to come to the back of the unit, and you're going to notice there's about three screws here in the back of the unit. One's uh, got your ground on here. Uh, you'll notice that it has a washer on it, so just make sure you make a mental note of to keep the washer set aside. And basically what you're going to do is unscrew your screws back here. And the cool thing is they're all pretty easy to get at. And what we do is we have a wire right here hooked up. We're just going to uncrimp it. Pull out our last screw. And now we're going to lift up. And now we pulled out our bad power supply. Here's the little prongs right here. So when you go to install your, your uh, new one, you know, you know, set it this way so your prongs have to go in there. So now we'll take our, our uh, bad power supply and swap it out. Now we'll take a good power supply. Basically what we're going to do is just going to set it right on here. Because the little prongs are going to sit right in there. So that's really going to kind of hold our uh, power supply in. Then what I'm going to do is reconnect the wire right here in the front. If you can see that, I'm going to reconnect it right in there. Then I'm going to install my screws. I'll install my three screws back in here in the front. I'll come back here in the back. And that's a little grounding wire. So hook our grounding wire back up. And I'll go ahead and install my other two screws right back here. Screw that guy back in. What we're going to do is recrimp our little wire, put a wire back in there. So we have a wire back in there, we have a screws mounted there. And what we're going to do is go ahead and connect 